All right then, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Shadow Side of Plays Galactic Brick Wars Two Electric Boogaloo Episode Eight Twickenham Three. It's been a few turns. I am still up shit street without a paddle, but I have at least managed to stabilize a new world, and I'm well underway to getting another two. I did get Bond, what Jimmy call it, in the interim because it was just there and I was busy trying to work out just how I was going to make this entertaining while also not having to fucking rage quit the game myself because it was getting infuriating to the point where I wasn't having any fun playing it so you know I, I know there are a great amount of sickos out there that would openly just watch someone not having fun and find that enjoyable but it's got to be fun for me as much as it is for you. And yeah, yeah I was not enjoying the last couple of episodes. Because every time I did try and work something out, it went miserably. Right, finally, Kelmar. You have the plus three military tile. You're going to be the world I build my Hyperion Shrinker on. And then boost it up. Dial it up to maximum widget. I also have a transport underway. Because we are going to retake Island Star 3. Again. Because this is just. Yeah. Oh, this must have been one of my constructors I designed. No wonder it could do more than two modules at a time. Constructor, buy. Uh, Scythia. Yeah, I keep chunking out Defender MU3s. Two wolf packs. And one invasion group. Because you need to do something at uh, this fucking situation. Kane, what are you building? Oh, right, constructors. You might as well just keep chucking out constructors. I actually have a lump in my throat from trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to make this work. Because the AI is just shitting all over me. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. I was just plain old getting shot on. Really? We enjoy your pacifism. God forbid that every single time I do this my fleets are actually getting slightly more advanced. God forbid I've actually managed to take a planet. Twice even. Stop telling me I'm going to get crushed and help me. You ain't gonna help me. Fortification? For practical fusion? And shield enhancement? Give me some cash too? Yeah. To try and do something about this godforsaken mess. Because, <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, come on, you're my fucking friend. You're sat there like, complimenting me. You know, we only have one downside to our entire diplomatic relationship, and then you're just like, you have so much blessed for me on your words. Fuck! Off, you asshole! <sighs> freighter. Let's build a freighter. Let's even chunk it up to the top of the list. I'm going to need to do something about my cash flow situation anyway. 
Every time I gear up for a war, I end up bleeding more cash than I can actually fucking spend. Lasers, chaff, and stellar support. That's it. That's all the entire ship is built with. Guarantee it will somehow take out six fucking dreadnought class vessels in one go. God forget. Yeah, 24 missiles. So it's got three fucking harpoon modules, chaff, and a stellar support. Somehow that's fair. Oh, and there's another fucking fleet's worth. Beam corvettes, missile corvettes, beam corvettes, missile corvettes. The sooner I can get carrier modules, the better. Meanwhile, this fleet is. This world is defended by one guardian, tiny. Four points of lasers, twelve points of armor. Guarantee you it will somehow take out the fucking Death Star. Without firing down the thermal exhaust point, port. And without pulling a hand solo. You know, it just pew! And fire in slow motion. And then somehow, for some reason, the Death Star will just go pew! Well, boys, there goes the fucking insurance on that one! Yes, I'm pissed. So I'm going to try and take Alintar 3 back again. Somehow it will fail. Guarantee it. Somehow this will fail. It's either that or the moment I take it back, some little piddler will come along, blow up my fucking frigate, then a transport will conveniently arrive five turns later, take back the world, and then just, you know, make my life hell. Right, quick battle. Ah, he blew up for once. Wow. What a change of events. Information warfare. Surviving population is actually high enough to do something with this world. Oh. Pardon me. You. Pike yourself in orbit, Valinsar 3. Idle ship. <sighs> oh, you lot are just going to turn around and. Yeah, yeah. Made myself an instant target there, didn't I? Should have expected that, really. Idle colony. <sighs> I'd be better off just straight up building. I don't know, entertainment capital. Yo, know, fuck it, let's actually build. Well, that ain't gonna do any good, resistance. This world keeps falling regardless. Plus ten, plus ten. Plus ten. Yeah, planetary defense system. We're even gonna go so far as to buy it. Right, you, get over there before anyone can blow you up. Before any anything else that is just outrageously infuriating can happen. Yep, you're going to blow up the culture star base. Then you're going to turn on my fleet, and then the transport's going to arrive and take it back again. The Confederation of Polonia would like to mark our friendship with this gift of 75 credits. How about you mark my friendship by fucking attacking the Britannians? They're assholes! They deserve to just, you know, death camps. 
furnaces. Any of this found familiar? Yes, I am the Scythian Empire and I'm going full Nazi on these bastards. They deserve an early death. Oh, look, more Britannian ships flying inside my sphere of influence. Wouldn't be surprised if one of those tiny ones with one little gun just comes along and blows up my fucking homeworld somehow. Just because. <laughs> Seven billion souls dead. <sighs> yes, I'm angry. Yes, that's like the 18th time I've said that. Give me one good reason not to be hooked off with this situation right now. used to be an M throne starbase. Let me guess. I'm going to explode, aren't I? Yes. Now where's the transport, huh guys? There it is. Shipyard Idol, Rufus 2. Uh, take him out somehow, please. Quick battle. Oh, I actually managed to take one of them out. Wow. And then you'll open fire on the shipyard, the shipyard will explode, the pieces of the shipyard will fly into the sun, the sun will explode, and the entire system will go up in flames. Sounds about right. Yeah. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Fucking colony ship. Eat shit, fuck off, no! You see, to research new guns, I need 40 turns to somehow get the technology up and running. I do not have 40 turns. I do not have the better part of a year to research a new technology. Considering each turn is meant to be a week. Oh, he's just going to disappear off over there. Oh, you haven't invaded my brains out yet. Well, that makes a fucking change. You know what? I'm going to sacrifice part of my own home defense fleet. Just to hunt you down and make you feel hurt. Because that's a civilian vessel. Considering you were the ones who originally invaded my brains out. Carriers. Okay, you have carriers. I will give you anything I have to have carriers. Give me all the cash. I do not care anymore. Upgrade starbase. Interceptors. Assault fighters. Yep, I will take those. I will take those. I will put them on any other vessel I can come up with. Right. This is the turning point. This is about to become a filthy, evil fucking war. Oh, go ahead. You, you, you attack the home defense fleet. Get blown up for your fucking troubles. Then I'm going to take out your civilian population. Hell, if I had the ability to just, drop, just plain drop neutron bombs on their planets, I fucking would.
Go to hell. In fact, what are you, Britannian fleet? Eject. Right, that's a little bit more like it. If fighting dirty is the way this war is going to have to go, then fighting dirty it fucking well is. You lot, head for Island Sar 3 before someone just decides... Look, take out that colonizer along the way. Then go to Island Sar 3 and defend. This is the turning point. This is where this war turns from being just a little bit of, you know, country versus country, your, your, your little old usual fighting, whatever you can call a, yeah, a fair war, to fucking knuckle dusters. Neutron bombs. Unfair tactics. I am going to turn you into a fine fucking paste for your crimes. First trade route. That should bring in a couple more credits for my worries. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you fucking bastard! Uh, plus 10 diplomacy, plus 10 influence. Can I get there in time? I'm not going to be able to get there in time. Fuck's sake, fuck's sake, fuck's sake! Okay, I'm not going to be able to get there in time. But I will be able to get there in time to blow up the fleet that was guiding that transport there. I will be able to get there in time to fucking punish Alan Sar 1. And this is after building planetary defences for what little good they did. And now the planetary defences are defending him instead. Take him. <sighs> I need higher logistics for this. I need anyone who has logistics technology. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like biological warfare. Tell you what, if I give you a couple of these techs, and I will take Throw in 966 credits too. Missile augmentation, advanced missile guidance, hull reinforcement, biological warfare, defensive fortifications, which means I'll have another 10 points to planetary defense. Right, so those ships, even though they haven't attacked me yet, credit to Oasis for that one, I'm gonna turn around and fuck off out of my space. See, he's already adjusted his fleet designs to include f beam weapons instead now. Right. Considering this is the way the game is going, this will be the end of Galactic Brick Wars 2. Ser uh, Galactic Brick Wars 2, Episode 8 for now. Episode 9 will be forthcoming. Don't worry, that wasn't me saying that would be the end of the series, just the end of this episode. And I'm going to try and figure out another way around this fucking mess. So I'll see you all next time. Ta-ra!